Hey, welcome back, folks. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still feeling pretty rough. Uh, this cold is really hanging on, but I still feel the need to bring you guys what I feel are the most important stories out there, and this is one of them. It's really looking more and more like the powers that be want to dehumanize and otherize white people in this country. For what purposes? I don't know, just use your imagination. So what I have for you today is this so-called psychoanalyst, more like just plain psycho, actually had a peer-reviewed article published in a healthcare journal called the Journal of the American Psychoanalytic Association, where whiteness is described as a quote, malignant parasitic-like condition that makes the host person voracious, insatiable, and perverse. Warning that there is not yet a permanent cure. Another way of saying this might be that there's not a permanent solution to the whiteness problem. According to the psycho Donald Moss, quote, whiteness is a condition one first acquires and then one has a malignant parasitic-like condition to which white people have a particular susceptibility. The condition is foundational, generating characteristic ways of being in one's body, in one's mind, and in one's world. I just have to stop for one second. Just imagine for one second that this paper was being written about blackness or Jewish people. Would it be published? Would it be considered scholarly? Would it be peer-reviewed? Yeah, maybe in 1930s Germany. Parasitic whiteness renders its host's appetites voracious, insatiable, and perverse. These deformed appetites particularly target non-white people. What the hell? So being born white means that you are born inherently with an appetite, a voracious, insatiable appetite to target people who aren't white. I've always joked that the left believes that we're all just hiding in the shadows, ready to pounce on anybody who isn't white so we can harm them. But apparently this is now considered scientifically proven. Once established, these appetites are nearly impossible to eliminate. Effective treatment consists of a combination of psychic and social historical interventions. In other words, re-education camps, or worse. Just think Clockwork Orange. When remembered and represented, the ravages wrecked by the chronic condition can function either as warning or as a temptation. Memorialization alone, therefore, is no guarantee against regression. There is not yet a permanent cure. Just wow! Combine this scholarly, peer-reviewed paper with everything we're seeing from the American CCP and this sudden forced introduction of CRT into our society. They started by calling us racist, then they upped it to white supremacist, then insurrectionist white supremacist, then white nationalist, then we're a threat to national security, then we're a threat to democracy, and apparently we all hate democracy now. And very recently on MSNBC and a couple other networks, they've started referring to us as a quote, public health threat, who should be violently attacked and segregated from society. This thing you just mentioned on the vaccine, this is now going to become a public health problem. White evangelical resistance is now an obstacle for the New York Times to the vaccination effort. As you just mentioned, millions of white evangelical adults in the U.S. do not intend to get vaccinated against COVID-19. What else can we do? What else can we do, Ian? I think we should stop offering them anything. I think we should, the only thing we should offer people who don't want the vaccine is a knuckle sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Physical violence. Physical violence. The folks that are not getting vaccinated because it's a quarter of Americans that aren't getting vaccinated. White evangelicals, 45% say they won't get vaccinated according to a Pew Research. Uh, Republicans, almost 50% of Republicans are refusing to get the vaccine. So we won't reach herd immunity because of those particular groups. So I say we need to shun those that refuse to get vaccinated. I think if you have not been vaccinated, no entry. You want to get on a plane? You got to be vaccinated. Show proof of vaccination. And those people that don't want to get vaccinated, then that's fine. That's fine for you. But then you can't spread it to other people that are that are vaccinated. You don't get those other liberties that come with immunity. That is the real concern because, you know, the Trump voters who are not going to get on board with democracy, they're a minority. You can marginalize them long term. But if we don't take the threat seriously, then I think we're all in really bad shape. Folks, I don't want to go all Goodwin here, but it's hard not to. Hitler actually accused Jews of all these same things. Now we have actual peer-reviewed journals outright calling people a quote, voracious, insatiable, and perverse parasitic threat to non-whites that has no cure. What else is left to deal with this threat if there's no cure? 
Remember what I've been saying since the early 2000s, which is that the left is particularly dangerous because of their ability to rationalize just about anything in pursuit of their agenda. That's all I have for this one, folks. If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends so they know what's going on. Hit that like button and keep coming back for more.